Well, this is a very exciting day for me. It has taken me two years to get here, and I've gone solar. This morning, I threw the grid power switch and switched the house to solar. This is just temporary. We're testing the system, and we're only planning on using the solar power in a off-grid situation where there is no power from the grid. However, it works. It really, really works. I have these four panels I bought at Costco, and I've got them going into a battery bank. We are running the entire house off of the stored power. During the day, the panels charge the batteries faster than we were using the power. The sun is uh, now off the panels right now. They're in the shade, so they're not charging like they were earlier. It hasn't been 24 hours yet, but the side-by-side -side refrigerator freezer, the chest freezer, the ceiling fans, the lights, the grow light we have on the seeds inside, the computers, the routers, the modems, the printers, the projector, the plasma, the DVD player, sewing machines, everything is running just like normal if we were on the grid. It really does work. It wasn't as hard as I thought it was. I had a lot of really good help from Al at Eco New Power. Check out his YouTube channel. I have a link down below. Great guy, lots of help, really knows what he's talking about. So just wanted to give you guys a heads up that I have gone solar power and I'm gonna break down the system exactly what components I've used, how I built my stand here, which batteries I'm using, what type of cable, how heavy of cable, what kind of controllers, uh, why I chose a pure sine wave inverter, which inverter I chose. I'm just going to break down that system so you can decide whether that works for you or not. But if the lights go out today and there is no more power, and if there is an EMP, we're good to go because I store my controllers in my Faraday cage. And so if there is an EMP, I can bring those out and run the house on solar. It's quiet inside the house. You would never know that we're running on solar and not on grid power. My wife had her humanitarian service project group over here today. We had a house full of women and young children and teenage girls, and they're working on their projects just as any other weekday they've come over before. It really is possible. It was far less expensive than I thought it would be, and I'll break that all down for you in future videos. So stay tuned and see how we have gone solar with just four panels, a bank of batteries, and, and uh, the elements that you need to build a system and that you can do it. It is affordable and it's completely doable. Again, our purpose is not to keep our house running on solar all the time, but to have this in case of an off-grid situation. But if we needed to, starting today, right now, we could go off-grid. Keep tuned. This is a very happy LDS prepper reminding you, if you are prepared, you shall not fear when the power goes out.